Hey YouTube, this is Michael from Weezy and the Snake, and I'm here with my daughter. Shayla. And uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the different uh, genetics in ball pythons as far as dominant, co-dominant, and recessive. I've had a couple of friends ask me, you know, but on some of the videos that we've done, um, they uh, want me to explain it a little bit more. So. Um, I want to uh, just go over, I mean it's a learning process, I don't know what all snakes are dominant and that kind of stuff as far as their genes being dominant, but uh, well, uh, I'll, I'll show you some of the pairings that we're doing and uh, the situation with them being dominant, co-dominant and so forth. So one of, one of the dominant genes or a dominant gene would be something that you could put to a normal and it would be half of the offspring would be would carry that gene. One one example would be like this girl here, even though she's not she's not a normal spider. But this girl here is a spider. Actually she's a black widow, but uh, she has the spider gene. So she's a spider, black pastel, pastel, um, but she carries the spider gene. So that spider gene is a dominant gene. So if we put a normal to her, half of the, um, and it's, it's roughly half, it's not like guaranteed half, but half of the offspring would carry the spider gene. So, and with spider, there's no there's no, with a dominant gene, there's no super form of that gene. So then, a codom gene would be something more like, this here. This is a, a female banana ball python, and the banana is a codominant gene. So, half of her offspring, if you if she was bred to a normal, half of her offspring would be a banana. And with banana, we'll discuss this at another time, but with banana, it's a sex gene. So, um, females usually produce 50% males, 50% females, but you do have male maker bananas, uh, male male makers and male female makers in banana and I'll get more into that in another video but so those are those are uh, codom genes so there is a super form of banana so there is a super banana and I'll show you one of those in a minute um, then as far as like recessive genes um, two of the biggest recessive genes we work with is clown and uh, pied or pied ball so this right here sticking with but the banana this guy right here is a banana pied bald it's actually a pastel banana pied ball so the banana is a co-dominant gene and the pied ball is a recessive gene so in order to get a pied ball you'd have to have both the male and the female carry a copy of that gene in order to make a visual so if i paired for instance the i'll, I'll show you one of the pairings we do i paired that male um banana pied ball to the female i just showed you and we have we uh, got banana offspring from it, but all of them are what they consider het pied ball or heterozygous, meaning they ca carry one copy of the pied ball gene, but you need two in order to make it a visual. So these here, this here is the one of the offspring from that clutch. And he's all wrapped up there. But this is a banana and it's heterozygous 
for Pied Ball, meaning he carries one copy of the Pied Ball gene, but not two in order to make it a visual. So, just for instance, this one here is the same thing. It is a banana het pied ball. So if I were to breed these two together, which these two are males, but if they were male and female, if I breed these two together, they each carry the uh, recessive gene for pied ball. So 50% roughly of their offspring would be a visual pied ball. Now let's, let's pull the girl out. And would have the white on it like that. This this is a female pie ball, banana pie ball there. So it takes two that the visuals carry two copies of the gene, and the the het only carry one copy of that gene. So. Not trying to complicate things, but now I want to talk about a super or a, a co-dominant and ha would have a super form, and that would be like this one here. This guy right here carries two copies of the banana gene, which makes it a super. So therefore it being super means that all of its offspring it produces will be banana. Where the co-dominant, if it's not a super, it's just a regular banana, half the offspring would be the um, would be banana, the, half the, uh, the other half of the offspring would be normal. So this one is a super and it's had pied ball. So if I pair it to another Pied ball, 50, uh, if it's a visual pied ball, I, um, it 50 percent of the offspring would be pied ball. Two heads would be 25 percent of them would be. I think I misquoted that a minute. 25 percent of them would be actual visual pied ball. But so the the co-dominant gene has a super, which would be like this, so that the super everything it produces would carry that gene because it has two copies of the gene so it, it would pass at least one of those copies to all its offspring so just to try to wrap it all up and hit it so one more time so it's understandable the dominant genes pass on that you don't have to have the male and female and dominant and co-dominant you don't have to have the male and female carry that gene in order to get offspring that are visual of that gene the dominant does not have a super version the co-dominant does have a super version to where the super version everything it produces will have a copy of that gene then you get into recessive genes recessive both the male and the female have to carry at least a copy of that gene in order for both of them to pass a copy onto their offspring and any offspring that get both a copy from the mother and the father would be a visual and show the recessive gene so you can have heads that do not show the recessive gene and then the visual would be a recessive that shows both copies or it's a visual meaning it has two copies of the gene. I hope that's not too confusing to y'all. Um, I tried to make I tried to make it simple. Um, hopefully hopefully that was simple enough but uh, if you have any questions or comments um, I know some of you guys out there a lot more versed in this than I am so if you want to add anything in the comments below um, that I might have missed I'd appreciate that but um, you know I've had several questions from some of my friends and stuff trying to get me to explain the different forms of genes just dominant co-dominant and recessive and so 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 hopefully this helped out with that so um, that's our video for this uh, for this time I uh, hope, hope it was informative if you got any questions just let me know and I'll be happy to answer them um, so anyway, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. 
Hope you liked the video and hit the bell. Hit the bell. Okay, we thank y'all. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. -bye.